Well, hello there. Hi everyone, this is Kirsten from Kirsten Bread Resale. I hope everyone's doing fantastic today. Today I'm bringing you a slightly different video. Um, I am veering away from jewelry for this particular one. Well, I guess it depends how you want to look at it. Um, adornment is adornment. And I also have a thing for vintage and antique purses. Um, this is gonna be part one. I have a lot of them. Probably not as much as some people, but more than others. So I'm going to break it up into, uh, I don't know if it's going to be two or three different videos spaced out. Um, anyway, I just wanted to, I'm not really sure, just come show you some pretty purses from different time periods. Um, this is just a little assortment of some different time periods. I tend to gravitate towards the 20s to like the 50s. Um, with this kind of stuff. And then I really have a lot of fun uh, 60s and 70s and 80s of uh, name brands, like luxury brands, Chanel, uh, Givenchy, like that kind of stuff. Um, but this is not any of them, okay? So these are older periods, except for an exception of two, which I'll get into as well. Okay, so Welcome. If you've yet not subscribed, please feel free to. It is free. It takes just a second. All you have to do is click that little subscribe button, hit the little bell, and that will let you know every time I upload a video. I do live sales on Thursday evenings, and I'll have all that fun jazz listed in the description box down below. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one. Um, these have all been either thrifted, gifted, or found. I think is a good way to put it. So this is a gorgeous one. This is a, a vintage French tapestry bag from the 30s. This is all handmade. Really amazing scene. There's a bit of wear up here. And this one's a nice size. Um, look, I'll show you, I left myself a case. So this you could actually still use to today. Um, if you, I have a large, uh, cell phone so this just shows you this can fit that a compact uh your id you know a small thin id case with a card in it a little cash lip gloss whatever so this one has a um, nice nice size um oh and guess what there's jewelry inside here of course there is but this is silk inside um it's in very for the age it's in very good condition there's a little bit of stainage but oh just gorgeous actually this is not this is eh. This could be satin. I think this one's satin on the inside, not silk. Beautiful, real, real lovely. And, and considering the age, I think in fantastic condition. Okay, let's see also. Um, boo boo, how about this one? Oh, this one is my, one of my more recent purchases. Um, it is damaged, but that's okay. This is fantastic, see this? Look at this. I got this from, um, oh my God, I just like, <laughs> Misty's, Misty's channel. Um, and uh, she sells a little bit of everything. She really does. So the thing that's wrong with this is there's no clasp to hold it shut. Um, and that's okay. What it's made out of this celluloid up at the top, that is gonna happen. Um, and that's okay. I'm not, I don't have this to use. I have it to collect and to try to save from whatever could possibly. I mean, besides that, it's in amazing condition. This is called um, a berry knit bag. They called that because of the way these look a little, little bit, little bit like berries. This is from the 1930s. Missy's treasure chest. That's what it is. Anyway, so I'll open it so you can see the inside. I mean, besides the fact that this little closure is broken, this is like remarkable. A little bit of damage there, probably from price tagger. That's what it looks like. It looks like something, you know, at a thrift store or whatever. They didn't pay attention, you know. But there's no pulling. The knit is in remarkable condition. I adore it. Love it. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Okay. Um, we're going to go to, we'll do this one. This one needs to be restored. I have quite a few of these. I only brought one out here today. Um, this is a authentic Art Deco beaded evening purse. Um, the beading is falling apart. Um, this side's bad, but this side's really bad. Look at that. But it needs to be restored and saved. I do believe in that. I think these are remarkable. This is actually sterling, not the chain, which is odd, but this whole top part here is sterling and this is, I don't know what that is, um, but really beautiful. 
I need to, I don't feel confident in my beading skills. I can bead, but not, not very well to restore this. Um, I could see how it's supposed to be done, um, but I'm going to leave that to a professional when I can find one that can do this um, for a reasonable price. So, because I have quite a few of these that are like this, unfortunately. Um, these are a hard thing. They're not, they're old. And if they're not stored, people love them. They think they're beautiful. So they hang them, which I used to do. I'm going to be honest. I was guilty of that, that wrongdoing. Never, ever, please hang one of these bags. It pulls all the weight. And because they're so old, it starts to pull apart at the top where it's attached and it will fall apart. Um, you know, I, they're so beautiful. I want to display them as well, but unfortunately, these aren't something that, I mean, if you have like a big house and have like, you know, areas where you can keep this in a safe area where it can lay flat on display, fantastic. Sort of like a museum, but I do not. So I'll show you how I store things. Um, not today, but I mean, I mean, I'll show you how I wrap some things today, but this literally gets wrapped back up in tissue, um, placed flat inside of a airtight type of a Ziploc, but it's specifically for preservation. Um, yeah, so that's what I do with these until, cause I don't want the silk, this inside of here is all silk. And I live in a very dry, dry climate and it will actually start to deteriorate the silk, which is a shame. But anyway, that's a whole nother video, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. But talking about a 1920s bag that was kept in remarkable condition. I'll show you this. Now this is tiny. These are little bags. Okay. But look, this is the kind that you can carry like this. This one was gifted to me by a really lovely person. Now, um, you know, this is silk taffeta on the inside. Oh, Okay, so I'm superstitious, and if someone gifts you something, um, I'm a firm believer you always put money in it. Um, gift or give you as a, buy it for you, whatever. You put even just a penny, because that means nothing as mundane as finances or money will, become, will come between friendships. So my friend gave that to me. She had a penny. I kept the penny in there. Anyway, this one is, I mean, look at the condition. It's just, look at that, the design. Gorgeous. Let's zoom in. There we go. And it's like a skew. Like, I don't know if that was a design accident or meant to be. I don't know. Regardless, I think it's beautiful. Really beautiful. Gorgeous. And actually, this I didn't realize this has a maker mark inside of it, and I cannot. See, oh, made in France. It says made in France. So this one is French. Beautiful. Okay, so let's see here. How about we go to, we'll go to a 1940s purse. This is like a pill purse, a bucket. Well, there's different names for it. Oh, is that a loose thread? Maybe. Um, I do not know what this material is. It could be faux. I don't know what kind of faux they had back then in the 40s. I'm sure they had something. I don't know. Or it could be real. I don't know. I don't think about it. Um, this I got at a second hand. Not a thrift store, but like a... Well, it was a thrift store, but not like a cheapy one. You can tell that I've used it in the past. Um, and it has a mirror. Oopsie, hello. Uh, and it, the mirror has come a little bit undone. Um, but this actually holds a, rem a nice amount. And it's, the, it's sturdy as opposed to some of these other ones where I wouldn't feel confident using them. This one I feel completely confident in using. Um, it's really sturdy and it holds quite a bit because it's like a little pill bucket, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me think here. Okay. So I want to show you what else? Okay. This one here, this one has some issues, but I bought it anyway because I thought it was beautiful. Okay. Um, all mother of pearl and it has the handle like this i have a few purses like this and it opens there's some stainage you say got out of the thrift store um but besides the stainage okay what the problem is is some of the mother of pearls have come off unfortunately um just from i'm assuming from just people using it is mother of pearl you know they crack they fall off 
Um, it is older. I don't know. I have not been able to date this particular one. It is silk taffeta on the inside. Um, oh, I see it's missing a little bead right there, you know, but gosh, look at it. It is just spectacular. It is beautiful. Beautiful. This one's I've had for, I don't know how long, but, um, this was one of the ones, unfortunately, I had on display. I actually didn't have it hanging. I had it on like a, you know, those little fold out things that you can put plates on, that kind of thing. I had it on one of those, um, but I don't even think that's a good thing to do either now that I've done that in the past. I, yeah, I'd veer away from that. I mean, it's up to you, obviously. Um, and I know it's a shame to have these beautiful things and just have them put away, but um, you know, I. I don't know what to say. It's just what I do. I, every now and then I pull them out. And not all of them I have stored away. Some of them I do have out on display. Um, it just really depends. Okay, so this is, I love, this is one of my favorites, which is, you know, it's not that unusual, um, but I love it anyway. I don't know. So this is from the late 1940s. This is Whiting and Davis. Um, just a little bit of a different take with the gold and white mesh, the asymmetrical. Um, it has the traditional satin orangey lining. The tag is still in it, and it is in really nice condition. It's a little bit stiff down here, like don't know exactly what happened, but something happened at some point. But um, I've never used this one. I have used some of my Wedding at Davis. This one I have not. Um, I've seen similar ones to this with the white and gold, but I have not seen this model. I've seen ones that are more rectangular, and that is because the ones that you see more in this manner are really from the 1950s, um, and this one is actually from the late 40s. Um, that's what it dated to, uh, and these are a little bit harder to find. And it's a great size. Fantastic. I mean, it's... Yeah, I'm just doing it with a cell phone. It's the only thing I have that, you know, people can really kind of compare to. This is an iPhone case. So it's a big one, you know, a big one. So it does hold some stuff. And even the white is still really amazing. Look at that. There's like hardly any fading to it whatsoever. Okay. This one I also, this one I got, oh, this one I probably got at like a Goodwill for a couple bucks years ago, you know. So, okay. How about we go to... Uh, this one, this one's gorgeous. Now I showed another one similar to this. This one is from the 40s. This is all done in silk and these are real gemstones. So we have real jade, we have amethyst, we have, I don't even know, uh, mostly jade amethyst and then I think there is, oh gosh, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? This one, I get, excuse me, I get, and these are little garnets. This is one that I do have on display. It is a harder case. I do um, keep them stuffed uh, and I do keep them in my closet on display uh, because I do try to keep my closet as dust free as possible, which is impossible living in a desert, <laughs> but um, I at least pay more attention to it than if it was like hanging on a living room wall or something, you know what I mean? So, um, so at least when I walk into my closet, I can look at some of my pretty purses. This one was gifted to me by a really lovely person. Um, I have one very similar that was my grandmother's. So, so now I have two in different styles. Really beautiful. And this one's in really, really, really good condition. Really good. Um, I've never used it. My grandmother's is in a little bit rougher condition with staining on the inside. Um, and, Cause that one was used. Like my grandmother used it, I used it, you know, beautiful. Speaking about my grandmother, um, she loved purses and jewelry and she, accessories, and I, I learned a lot from her. I got a lot from her, and I think she's the one who sparked my interest at a very young age. Okay, this one's very old. This one is from the 30s. Okay, this was hers, and I've seen pictures of her and my grandfather. Was my grandfather or was this one she was dating? Huh? Don't know. Um, gorgeous. Look at this. This is made in France. This is heavy. This is all all beaded this whole entire thing is all beadwork glass beads and then little tiny pearls there is one rhinestone missing which is i just noticed which really bumps me out because this is not on display right here which i will fix for sure um 
heavy. When I say heavy, they're all beaded. I can't even imagine a dress completely beaded. Look at this. And this is her original tissue paper. There is two pouches, some staining. This is all satin on the inside. Really fantastic. Um, and how she stored it is how I store it. And I'll show you, I have all, this is all her original stuff. So she has it wrapped in old, her tissue paper in this decrepit plastic bag. And that's how this is gonna get wrapped back up and put exactly how she had it. But just look at the detail on this. Is that insane? It's, I mean, oh my God, I can't even tell you. This must weigh, I don't know, I would say four pounds, three, I'm not joking, three pounds. It's, it's heavy. Wow, a complete beaded gown. Wow, that's a workout and a half. <sighs> okay, let's see here. Oh, okay, so this is fantastic. This is, uh, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so this is black patent leather and patent leather and lucite. Look at the handle. This is the handle. It opens like this. And I have it stuffed, and this just has, so there's a little mirror inside of it. Don't know if that is original to it. Don't know. So I keep it stuffed because this was losing its shape because I keep this uh, put away and so I don't have enough storage facilities to uh, have everything individually laid next to each other unfortunately so um, sometimes I have bins that I can put them upright but uh, I don't have that in this one I have this one laying flat in a bin so I need to pay attention which is my fault learn from my mistakes not to put things on top of this to have this on one of the top pieces because what happens was things were laying on it and crushing it and this has really beautiful pleating um, which I'm trying to get back. So really lovely pleading to give it great shape. See how it's smushed right there? Yeah, and that's my fault. When I received this, it was in immaculate condition. So that's my bad. But you learn, you learn from having and, and living with it. Gorgeous bag, really, really special. No, no maker's mark or anything inside of it. But in, besides my screw up by getting it smushed, Really amazing condition. This I would totally use to, to today. You know, it has nice size to it. Um, it is sturdy. It's very fashionable. I love it. Absolutely adore it. Okay, so now we're gonna go to um, ones that are a little bit more recent. When I say more recent, I'm gonna say from the 70s. I'm skipping, I know, but um, I thought these were important because I'll explain in a minute. <laughs> okay, these were my grandmother's. Um, yeah, okay, so I'll just share this. This is one of my uh, most favorite. Uh, it has the alligator little feet. Here, I'll move some things gently so I can show you better. Okay. The handle look at that I do have a strap that goes with it this is very this is leather so if you're sensitive to that you know you open it up <laughs> my grandmother's tissue I can't get rid of it she always carried tissues with her um, not dirty you know she just had them to fix her lipstick and stuff anyway um, all suede on the inside luxury it's a luxury bag okay so um, Unbelievable. This is uh, made by Barry Kessel Kesselstein and Barry Kesselstein. Um, oh, it's also just so you can see like luxury. So if you're out and about like this, obviously I did not thrift. This was my grandmother's. I'm not saying you can't find these. These are harder to find because it's more obscure, but everything is signed. Every element, the feet. If you lift this up, it's signed. Inside, it's signed. When you have the big strap on, the little clip is signed. Okay, that being said, and the leather is remarkable. Okay, remarkable. Like, just really, you just know when you know. Fantastic. Okay, so anyway, this is a, actually an American designer, which is unusual to find such high quality, in my opinion. I could be wrong. Okay, but this is just my opinion here. Okay, um, he was actually, he's a, a fine artist and a photographer um, and then he went into making fine jewelry okay so he started doing sterling silver and 
high count gold, 18 karat, 14 karat. He did some 22 karat gold. Um, and then he went into like, you know, some home goods, believe it or not. He did leather goods, like very, you know, in a limited, you know, like a run of 10 or, you know, stuff like that. Um, anyway, and he's from New York. Um, and this is from the 70s. They have these from the 1972 is when he started uh, doing his jewelry and purses. And then it went on. I'm not sure how long. I don't think he's still... God bless him. I don't know if he's still around or if he still is producing. I don't know. Um, this bag is uh, dated the 80s. Okay, so it's one of his older pieces, I guess, if he started in the 70s, 72. Really, really amazing. Now, anything like this, that the value is just going to be going up and up and up. Like, I don't, I'm not going to get into prices and values. It's not really that much. You just want to keep this really well. So the minute I'm done here, it's going to go right back into its dust bag. Okay. I am a firm believer. You don't have to pay a lot of money if you get a cool purse somewhere. And it doesn't have to be a luxury purse, mind you. It could be any purse. It could be faux leather. It doesn't matter. I just believe in, if you love it, that's all that counts and take care of it. Um, if it's important to you, you know, yes, I have my day purse that gets thrown around and blah, blah, blah. We all have that. But specialty things. Um, you can go to a thrift store and buy them for 99 cents, whatever. Use an old pillowcase. I mean, you don't even have to go buy anything. Use stuff that you have in your home. Find old pillowcases. Um, you don't even have to sew it. Just do it. And then if it's a big one, you just roll it back in on itself, the pillowcase, just to protect it from dust because dust will destroy. Okay. Just remember that it will dry out leather okay and it will crack it and it's just horrible and it does it with everything then you get it on beaded stuff and it gets caught in there and if there's any moisture in the air it turns to a paste and it's extremely difficult to clean it okay especially when they're old pieces so that's my two cents if anyone cares um just protect your protect your stuff okay <laughs> now this one um is in a similar vein this was also my grandmother's um and this is by uh stefano bravo and he is an italian designer and this opens like that let's see exactly how my grandmother left it and here is the strap the label she even had the tissue in here look she never even wore it she has god this is the last time she was in italy well, and there's even a price tag on it. So whenever year this was, $435. What year was this? Does it say? Well, it had to be when she was, last time she was in Italy, so I have no idea. So here's his label. Wow. So I have no idea when last time she was able to travel. I'm assuming it was when my grandfather was still alive as well. Um, they traveled the world. It was, I, yeah, I mean, literally everywhere. Like, yeah, really amazing amazing to be able to do that um look at this condition people i mean geez if she got this in italy and it had to have been at least i don't know god i don't even know my son i'm gonna say 20 years ago or more more probably i don't even know um unbelievable with the, she obviously never used it that's really sad actually okay well i don't want to be sad but i think it's fantastic and i shouldn't be sad because guess what i've never used it either <laughs> so it just is really well made. This is really nice um, representation of fine Italian um, leather without it being like Prada or, you know, like people that names, you know, Ferragamo, names that we all know that are Italian. It doesn't have to be a name, you know, a designer name for it to be magnificent and fantastic. Okay, I've learned that. Um, I always thought, oh, no, it has to be, you know, the best of the best and blah, blah, blah. And I was really, really wrong because you know what? Sometimes the best of the best, quote, unquote, are not better than the small mama pops. A lot of times they're, there's no love put into it at that point, maybe in the old pieces. But you find a brand or a designer that lived, breathed their nationality, their love of design and leather, um, whatever period it, that may be. Um, and you, you could feel it. You feel the craftsmanship, the history. I don't know, it blows me away. And they're all pieces of art, in my opinion. All beautiful, beautiful pieces of art. So that is my little display of 
vintage to antique purses part one in a nutshell anyway oh you can see my yucky background <laughs> uh, please forgive me anyway this is kirsten from kirsten red v sale just wanted to bring you a little something different to get to know me a little bit i know i do mostly jewelry here occasionally i show some of my artwork or whatnot but uh i love lots of things i collect lots of things in mini mini forms i guess um I'm a minimalist, <laughs> which, you know, it's really hard to be a minimalist when you love to collect. So I try to minimize what I love, if that makes sense, and, and try to just keep it to a couple of certain styles. Unless it's Art Deco, then forget it. All of my, my, I have no willpower with Art Deco. I'll literally buy things that are like in a paper bag, falling apart, but it needs me. It just talks to me. <laughs> Well, if I haven't scared you away yet, thank you for coming and hanging out with me. Um, yeah, have a fantastic week. I will see you guys later this week with a preview video and my sales video. Anyway, have a fantastic day, week. Be safe, be healthy, virtual hugs and love. This is Kirsten from Kirsten Ready Resale. Mwah! Bye.